what's up everybody i know it's been a long time since we've been here but we are here now and we are having a baby i am nine months pregnant with our baby girl and i am here to do an unboxing video of our duna this is the duna that we got this is how it comes in the box so here's a little quick glimpse of the box it comes with the base and with the car seat everything is already assembled when you get it so i'm going to take these little pieces apart and just see how it works so i will be making a video kind of just giving a complete update on life for us we are not selling our house that is one update that I can tell you guys right now. So we're not selling our house. We had two beautiful baby showers. We are having a little girl. Um, what else is there? Um, the rooms are nearly finished. I can. I think I'll do another video just giving an update on those rooms of what's done, what's left, and yeah. So with the Duna, they give you these different little little ads inside of it of different things you can buy as the kids get older, like a trike and the different accessories. This one did not come with it. I did order this. This is a uh, little bag to go on the back of the the car seat because it does not come with a uh, um. A basket at the bottom but it does come with this which is a seat protector which is nice to have I already have some in my car but I mean I may use it I don't know we'll see let's It is made with bamboo charcoal fibers. Mm. Fancy. So I wanted a Duna this time around because I have four kids. I cannot. <laughs> I can't just be doing separate car seats and strollers and all that stuff. That's too much. Mm -mm. I have too many kids for that. So I think I took all the paper off. There's somebody driving by. I got the all black one. So now I'm going to open this base because I got to clean out my truck and install this into the truck. My husband asked me to wait for him. But he at work and I'm impatient and I want it done. <laughs> So, I might do it while he's gone. We'll see. Because like I said, I got to vacuum the car first. These are so many books. Flip it over. Get the stuff off the bottoms too. There's a lot of stuff in here. Alrighty. So. Got that disassembled. Or not disassembled but. Unboxed. Hold on. This is what it looks like without all the plastic and paper on it. The base and the seat so to put it in the base i believe we just snap it in there i 
Hold on. So, I was definitely doing it wrong. When you put it in the base, Look, I'll be back again. I had to figure this out. Okay, so with this stroller, it's not like a traditional stroller that you would press the button that's on the back of the stroller to release it. So you wouldn't press this to release this from the base. Because this is what releases the wheels. It's this button right here. You would press that in and it comes right up. I got a little piece of hair on me. Wipe that off. You press that button and it will release. So I'll show you. It took two seconds after I figured it out. which will be at your basic height because you're going to be in the car, not on the floor. And boom, it's up. So now, open it up. But opening it is pressing that button on the back and just pulling the wheel out. And now you got a, a little stroller and this adjusts which I like this right here adjusts you can press these buttons on the side you can move it here and then the button here in the center you can either make it longer for taller people like myself, or if my boys want to push, leave it at the short setting. So it's not too much of a stretch because I know my other stroller, when they used to want to push row, they'd be pulling it over their head, like their arms would be over their head. But this one is lined up with them the same way it would be lined up with me as an adult. So that's nice. and. Yeah, the convenience of just having it go from stroller to park is nice too. So now I'm going to see how this bag attach. See how well that works. I, on the review, it says that this particular bag has um a lot of space in it that you can fit a lot of stuff in this bag in particular so it's additional storage when using the duna outside of the car it's a quick release um and it can hold up to six pounds so that's a lot of stuff, especially if you only put like clothes and stuff in there. So, let's see. I will be putting this back here. And there's like some special loops. Oh, yep, here they are right here. And you just push them through those loops. Let me see. Because I feel like this would need to be up. Let me take this one off. Push this up. There we go. Now put these on the loops. So it's on the back. Mm. Put this one here. Mm. 
here we go. And Booyah Shaka. Got yourself a nice little bag on the back. Look at that. Boom. Mm. Got your little hands free bag. Works out. I like that. So, we'll see how it works out in person. As of right now, it seems very easy to work. We'll see when I put a little person in it if I feel the same way. If it's something that I would recommend other people get but I mean as of right now I don't see any problem with it it seems very easy convenient um putting the seat down you press the same button that you would press to hold it up the only difference is is that you would make sure that the wheels are locked and you push down and boom it's down so we will see how things work out but yep we are having another baby and I'm going to be making a hospital bag video probably today as well. So y'all will see that soon of what's in my hospital bag. I am tired all the time. Just tired. But thumbs up to the Duna so far. I like it. We're going to see how much I like it in the near future. But as of right now, I like it a lot for our little baby girl and plus I see these everywhere now like this is just the new it thing so there's that <sighs> what <sighs> until the next video we'll be back we'll see you later